real-life superheroine. She fought in numerous battles from the Battle of Uhud to the War of Yamama, and her skills were praised by the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, himself. Her name was Naseeba bint Ka'ab radiallahu anha, and she was a 7th century Muslim warrior. From the Ansar, she was one of the first two brave women of Medina to come and pledge allegiance to the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, even though if caught, she could be tortured or even killed by the Meccans. During the Battle of Uhud, the Muslims were on the verge of defeat and were scattering. So Naseeba, along with her husband and two sons, surrounded the Prophet وسلم, to protect him from attackers. The Muslim soldiers marveled at Naseeba's skill with a sword, and the Prophet وسلم, said, in whichever direction he looked, he saw Naseeba fighting and defending him. She sustained at least 12 major wounds on the battlefield, one of which took a year to heal. The Prophet وسلم, said to her, from where can anyone get courage like you, O Umm Umara? Impressed by her valour and commitment, the Prophet وسلم, made dua that he would be friends with Naseeba and her family in paradise. Even when Naseeba was in her 60s, during the rule of Abu Bakr as-Siddiq, she was sent with the Muslim army to challenge the false prophet Musaylama and lost her arm in the battle. But her courage was not limited to the battlefield. After both of her sons were martyred, she displayed immense patience and strength. Not only was she a warrior, but she was also learned in Qur'an and Hadith. After her conversion, she also devoted herself to the education and training of the women of Medina. Naseeba bint Ka'ab's courage and skill impressed the Muslim soldiers and the Prophet In her lifetime, she became an inspiration and